Hello and welcome to this Swift tutorial. In this video we are going to take a look at Firebase authentication. So of course you can authenticate with Facebook, Twitter and all that stuff. But in this video we are going to focus solely on email and password. So how you can sign a user up in your app with their email and password using Firebase. So that's what we are going to do in this video. So the first thing that we are going to do in order to get this authentication started is we're going to head over to Firebase. And if we now head over to the home screen or if you're already at the dashboard, that's awesome. I mean the console. But if you're right here, firebase.google.com, just type that in. Make sure that you have created a Google account. And if you do have that, then just click on go to console. And then when you have clicked on that, you will get an overview of all your projects. Then you just click on create new project. And I'm going to name this safe app. Now I would, uh, you can name this whatever you want to, but I would encourage you not to uh, call it a uh, fire base auth or fire auth because you can run into a bit of trouble if you have the project is named that and we're also going to use it later on in my in the project. I tried to do that one time and it did not work. So make sure that you don't use the name fire auth or firebase auth. So I'm just going to name it safe app and create my project. And uh, it's loading and it's creating our new project. I'm just going to wait for that to happen. So now we're within our project and we can now click on add Firebase to your iOS app, which is what we're going to do right now. So if we now head over to Xcode, we need to create our project. So we're going to double tap on create a new project. And then we're going to make this a single view application. Just click on next. And I'm going to name this safe app. And make sure that the language is set to Swift and then everything else you can just set as you wish. And then I'm going to save it on my desktop. Now I would also encourage you to save it on your desktop just to make sure that we have the same stuff to operate from so that we know where we have our app. And then we are going to copy our bundle identifier and paste it right in here. And then nickname, I'm going to just call safe app and click on add app. So now we're going to get a Google slash info dot plist file and just click on there in order to download it to your download folder. And then you can select it and drag it over and just dump it right under your info.plist file and click on finish. And make sure that it is called Google uh, slash service dot plist file and not slash two at the end. So make sure that it's called exactly that. And the reason it got a two is because I have one already in my pro in my downloads folder, so it just added it to. So just make sure that this is the exact name that you also have. Now that we have added that, we can actually close down Xcode or our project and click on continue. And now we're going to need our terminal in order to install a pod file in our project folder. Now, if you don't have Cocoa Pods installed on your Mac, Make sure that you head over to cocoapods.org and then here you can see an, a quick installation guide. So all you have to do is just, is just copy this, paste it into your terminal like this and you will download Cocoapods. So make sure that you do that first, but because I already have it, I don't need to do that. I'm just going to start with the first command, which is pod init. So I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to locate my folder. So I'm going to uh, type in ls just to see where I'm currently at in my directory. And then I write cd in order to uh, navigate to where I want to go. So right now I want to go to my desktop. So I say cd desktop. Then I type ls and here's all my files on my desktop. And then I write cd uh, safe app, which will take me into my project folder. I can type ls and here you can see I have my Xcode project. So now I'm going to paste in my pod init command and this will uh, add a pod file to my projects folder. And in that pod file, we're going to do some fancy stuff and then we will have uh, Firebase installed or uh, made ready in our app. So here I have my pod init. I can now open up my project folder. I'll open up the pod file 
and I'm going to copy this. So open your pod file and add pod firebase slash core. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. So let's just paste that in and you can paste it one more time and then just switch out core for auth authentication. So those are the two pods that we're going to need. Click command save or just save the file. You can close down that file and get your terminal again. And because now we're already in the project folder, so we don't uh, need to do much fancy stuff here. All we need is copy this command pod install in order to install it. And this might take a bit longer time if you haven't done this before, but because I have done this a couple of times before, it goes pretty quickly. So as you can see, here I am, here I have installed my pod file. So now I'm now going to close my terminal and here is my project folder. So if you can see, if I click Safe app, here are all my files. And from now, we are only going to open up Safe app. So this white icon, uh, because this is the project that is um, that's Firebase enabled. So let's open that, and then click on your project, and navigate to your project folder, and then go over to your app delegate. So here we are going to do two things in order to finish up the setting up. So first we're going to import Firebase. And then here before the return statement, but within this did finish launching with option function, we're going to write fire app dot configure. So now our app is all set up in order to use, uh, it's now Firebase enabled. So now we will be able to use Firebase with this app. So now let's head over to our Firebase um, guide here and we can just click on continue and finish. This is what we just did. So finish. And then as you can see, here is our project. But what we're going to do is we're going to head over to authentication and then we're going to uh, select the sign in method and here, as you can see, you can select multiple of signing methods. You can choose Google, Facebook, Twitter, and this is something that we can do in a future tutorial if you want to see that. So just comment below if that is something you want to see. But uh, right now we're just going to go with email slash password, enable that and click on save. So now that's enabled and we can now head over to our Xcode project. Now there are a couple of things that we are definitely going to need if we want a sign up app. And that's two text fields, one for our email, one for the user's password, and we're going to need a sign in button. And then eventually also a segment control that lets you switch between the login form and the sign up form. So let's add all of those elements right now. So we bring up our side panel here, and then I'm just going to search for text field and I am going to drag in one text field, just like this, center it nicely, and I'm going to copy it and paste it. So duplicate it and add it right there. Then we're going to need a button so that the user can trigger a certain action. And right now it's just going to say login. And I am going to make this button blue for no apparent reason. It just looks nice and then a white text color. And then I am going to stretch it a bit wider here. And then there's only one more thing that we need. And that is a segment control. So this is going to let you switch between the, let's see, login form and the sign up form, sign up form. So here is our whole uh, interface. This is what we're going to need for now. Uh, so let's connect it to our view controller and then we will be able to use these elements, which isn't a bad thing. So let's import, first of all, our first text field, which is going to be our email text, let's see text, make sure that it's an outlet, connect it up. Then we're going to drag in our password text just like that then we're going to import our segment control segment control of type ui segment control which is also going to be an outlet and then we have our button which we are also going to action button import as an outlet 
And then the last thing that we're going to do here is we're going to control drag the button one more time, make it an action, and I'm just going to name it action. Because this button is what's going to trigger our event of either signing up the user or logging in the user. So in this video, we have created our project over at Firebase, and we have also set up our project so that we can now use authentication or Firebase authentication. And we have also laid out our UI interface and connected them up all the elements with our view controller. Now in the next video, which is going to be out on Wednesday, we are going to add the functions that's either that's going to sign up the user and also log in the user. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. And then I will see you back in that video. Thank you for watching.